Okay guys, this is the time trial. First stage of course was completely flat, short stage, ended with a mass sprint. And it's time trial only 8 kilometers long, completely flat. So it will not be the biggest time differences between the riders, but I hope I can at least gain a few seconds on some of the guys I'll be battling with. So we put it on 75 for this stage, simply because it's a really short stage, so I think I can give it some extra gas and not die out. Normally you would put it around 65, 70, but because this is as short of a time trial as it is, I'll take a chance and I'll put it on 75. You can see that it's losing up energy a bit too fast, so maybe I should put it down to like 72. I'm second overall behind Jimmy Kapil, who's a really strong climber and time trial rider as well. And it's one of the riders I hope I can beat once we uh, come to the mountain stage tomorrow. So let's see. The energy bar over here is looking pretty good right now. And I think um, yeah, I'm closing on Monard who started ahead of me. 72 mountain, yeah, 62 is right up there. I don't of course have the energy to catch him. And I actually think yeah, I will run out of energy now. But last bit is luckily enough downhill. I do get in third behind Kapel and Ovechkin. Ovechkin had at the same time as me and Kapel. So actually, if I just set up a little bit better towards the end, I think I could have got the last four seconds needed to maybe take over Kapel at the end. But still, top 10 place so far. It's pretty good. Let's see how we end up towards the end of the race. Okay, this is the final stage profile of this year's Katerm International. It's a mountain stage, a lot of mountains, four category three climbs, and I think there's probably a category one climb at the end. Hopefully, I can. These three or four mountain stages of our mountains will be enough mountain points to compete with the final mountain. So I will be trying to let to go in a breakaway. I'm a bit worried about actually being allowed in a breakaway since I am 13th overall so far. So let's just get it started and see if I can get away. Okay, we finally started the mountain stage. Turned out. I actually don't want to go for Mountain Dews anyway, considering I'm I'm actually a top 5 favorite for the race, which I didn't expect to be, so I don't think they'll allow me to even get away, so I'll not even bother attacking, since I don't want to waste any energy. I've been looking at the other jerseys, and I found out that I actually don't have any competition at all for the under 25 jersey, which means that'll be a really easy jersey for me to win. So I'll be just sticking in the peloton for the stage, saving up as much energy as possible, and hopefully I won't be surprised by any competitors, because looking at it, I should be the massive favorite for winning the under 25 jersey and allowing me access to world tour races. We have finally entered the last mountain, it's really small pelt on our only 26 riders. I've been really lucky, I have plus 5 in date shape, which means that uh, even though my rhythm is pretty terrible, at least I have that working for me. So I'm sitting up front right now. I'm actually looking pretty good energy-wise all stage long, while a lot of riders have been struggling. My biggest competitor for the stage win, and who will probably beat me, is Rafael Maika. This, of course, former winner of the Mount Jersey and several stages in the Tour de France. So I don't think I can keep up with that. Uh, right now I'm just sitting up front, so once the Pelson will start bringing apart, which it will. Because let's look at the, we can see the mountain up here. Colleola Hospital. Colleole Hospital. I don't really know how to pronounce it. Just guessing. But it is honestly pretty steep. Red, orange, no black parts. So we don't have that 10 plus percentage to really pull the peloton apart. But it's long and it's steep. Over 10 kilometers is always long mountain. So it's just having the endurance to sit here for a long while. Sitting behind this now. I think you see the captain for the IM team. No, that's okay. It's probably him because Kreko Bola is not the captain. He's a sprinter. But yeah, he's ranked number one. So right now it's pretty much just a battle of sitting in the right place at the right time and I have to drop the yellow jersey with at least, how much was it, at least 22 seconds. So hopefully, okay, it's almost split apart there, hence must be the breakaway all day so he won't be any help from me. Sepulveda actually crashed earlier on the stage, so I don't think he'll be one of the top 10 favorites anymore. Actually he attacks now. Is that that's my cat hanging as well. Let's follow up on Micah here. Just because we need to honestly. Only Fobson climb right here. 
Not the steepest part of the mountain, I have to say. Just sitting on his wheel right now. Up front is Bilbao, who's not really a threat for my jerseys. None of these riders, except for actually Sepulveda, my own teammate, will, could actually end up ruining this, ruining this for me. So I really hope he won't. And Conrad as well, but he's a few. Yeah, he's also a few. I'm ahead of both of these riders in the on 25 classification. But uh, of course, they can gain up a lot of time on a stage like this. Hopefully, we can close the gap right now, and this will be one big group. And then we can just sit all, all of us just sit slowly and relax. And. Maybe even attack. Manka doesn't seem that strong, honestly. I will try and attack now, just to see how far I can get up. And hopefully get a good position before the sprint. So, Conrad actually takes it. Ah! And he get, I think he created a, a gap as well. Okay, I, I have to calculate this. 22 seconds, 36. He will probably get 10 bonus seconds as well. Why, why would it be him of all riders ending ahead of me? Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, I really hope that there was no time gap between the riders. Let's wait and see. Hopefully, this is really important for me because I will uh, get access to risks like Paris Nice, Trainer Adratico, Dauphiné Libre. Vuelta uh, Catalunya, what's it called? Other Spanish race, I can't remember. Amstel Gold Race, Flash Vallon. I won't get access to the monuments and the Grand Tours, but the next big, next, next best friends after that. So that's pretty good for me. Hopefully, once the stage is over, we'll find out how, what happened. Okay, this is the stage results. Luckily enough, I actually managed to get the same time as Conrad. And that means that I end up 4 seconds, only 4 seconds ahead of him. And I also get 3rd overall, only to me Coppell. And Micah beat me. Coppell beat me by 4 seconds in time trial. And Micah, I beat, think, beat me by like, yeah, probably 9 seconds since that's what I'm, that's what I'm after. Bye. So, looking at the young riders. Yep, I'm 1st overall. Ah, oh, that's such a big relief. 4 seconds ahead. I get the young riders jersey. Point jersey, I actually end up in 8th place, that's pretty good. Mountain Jersey in ninth place. And 3rd overall. Which means that I now gain access to a lot of important races. Let's just check out. Check if I actually get... Yeah, I gain access to all of these races. A lot of big races. Paris Nice, Tanatico, Catalunya, Pais Vasco, Amstel Gold Race, Flash Vallon, Dauphiné, Tour de Suisse, Eneco Tour, Classic Sebastian and Tour of Poland as well. A lot of big races.